Oh, welcome to the show, guys and gals. This is Dan Ugly Doggy coming to you with some more This Land is My Land gameplay. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. So, I have been working on an idea for a campaign for quite a while now, and it's finally coming to fruition. As you can see, I created a third campaign called California Doggy. That name gave me 159 weight, extra weight that I can carry. It only cost me four warriors and a low grade initial village. As you can see, I have one village. I have three warriors, yet I'm at day 81. I have 5% of my land, and as you can see with the red blob here, it, I believe they're at 60%. Although, looking at this picture, it sure looks like more than 60%, but they've pretty much got most of the map, it looks like to me. Uh, this is an insane campaign. It started with three towns, and for whatever reason, they decided to build a fourth. And those four towns have already expanded a couple of times. So I'm imagining they're rather large. We'll go ahead and get right into it. As I said, this is an insane campaign. I'm going to do this campaign using war parties on all of the attacks. I'm going to use them to take out all the camps, forts, jails, towns, everything from the get-go. Which is going to be a little difficult in the beginning because I only have three warriors. So I'm going to have to figure this out. I also have a little surprise in store here, and we'll, you'll see that in a minute. Wondering why I'm still in one village after 81 days? <laughs> There's a very good reason for that. I actually went a lot smoother than I thought it would, so I'm happy about that. I don't want to do a spoiler too quick here, so I'm going to wait a second before I say what's going on. This should be a really fun campaign. I've gone into my feeder campaign and gathered my guns. I'm going to arm all the villages with only high quality weapons. Uh, for the most part, well, high quality weapons and war bows. And I'm going to have the war bows in the villages so that if I transfer troops from one village to the next, they can take the war bows with them instead of guns. That'll just make uh, village management a lot easier. I'm expecting to have a total of around 60 villages at the end of the day. As you can see, I'm standing in a chill little village. There's only three dudes here with me. And I have managed to craft one and a half million skill points without leaving the first village. This village over here, as you can see, is a neutral camp. I literally have not left this village yet. And I have 1.5 million SP, and I'll show you how I did that real quick. So basically I have a feeder campaign, which if you've watched any of my episodes, you understand is my initial campaign at 3,000 something days old. And I use that to gather the parts needed to craft big spike traps. And as you can see here, each big spike trap gives me 50 skill points. So I basically just transfer the items needed to make those into this campaign and hit craft. And just keep an eye on things. Make sure nobody came into my village, nobody messed with me, no big actions were going on. There are a few patrols going around. Pop the little heads up every once in a while, but besides that, everything has been really quiet. I'm actually glad that they've had the opportunity to expand, because they're going to need as much of a headway as they can get if they plan on standing a chance. <laughs> I have not upgraded any of my skills yet. I've basically just started the campaign brought the items over that I needed and hit craft. I did spend the uh, skill points to unlock the big spike trap, but that's pretty much the only thing I've done. 
I am a little surprised that I still only have three warriors. Usually warriors will join you after every, you know, after so long, but I guess since I haven't actually left the village, they don't feel any real need to come and join the party. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know why, but my old record was 1 million, so I needed to beat my old record. And if I choose to do this again, I'll probably have to do 2 million, just because that's the way it goes. Uh, it's taken quite a while. I've gone on and off. It's probably like four real days. A few hours, a bunch of hours, each one of those days. But, you know, it's taken me like four days to go ahead and craft up the skill points. So I've never actually done a uh, insane mode campaign. So this is all going to be new to me. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I would expect things to be slightly different at least from a uh, normal campaign. Even beyond just the basics of uh, like how many people are in each party and I'm expecting to get some decent weapons. I would expect the weapons to be a lot more difficult to deal with. So I do plan on using war bows as of now. This is what I have in my only village, which isn't really much. I have thrown some grocery in here and the village is now at level 5. Although they haven't actually eaten any of the groceries, so I'm a little confused on that. I do have a few animal parts some wood, some basic healing goodness, and some uh, war bows. I didn't want to bring too much over in case I did get raided. I didn't want to have to go and track everything back down. But in my mail, I have a lot of goodies. These are all guns. All high quality. I have enough high quality to arm 60 villages, which is pretty much my focus right now. I also have enough ammo to uh, sustain those villages quite well. So I've got all the ammo I need. I pretty much have everything I need in these mill. One set of mill. Whole bunch of war bows. Some other little miscellaneous goodness there. Grocery. Got a bunch of grocery just sitting there waiting to be used. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. I don't think I'm going to bring this over quite yet. There's no real need for it yet. Got some more tonic. Some more pelts. A little bit more wood. Just in case. So, I've been waiting to get this campaign started. Uh, it's a little late here where I'm at. So this probably won't be the longest stream in the world, but I kind of wanted to get it going. Uh, I need to work on spending these skill points. So, oddly enough, I do not expect this to, this one and a half million skill points to be able to max out every skill. So, I still want to be kind of selective. And I'm going to do the ones that I personally find the most useful. And the number one in that, besides weight, well, yeah, weight is going to be number one. <laughs> yes. And health. And then, where is it? Concentration. Concentration is your friend. Where is concentration? Is it an order? Am I just blind? Stamina, how? Oh, my name also gave me maxed uh, health, regeneration, and what else was it? What was it? Health regen.
sorry about that, my mic cut out for a second, but I thought it was concentration actually. What was the other skill that my name gave me? Health regen. Oh, now that bugs me. I don't remember what the other skill was. I want to say it's concentration, but it doesn't look like it. Huh, that only took two. I don't know, maybe it was, but it didn't max it out. So does that stack? Interesting. No. That's the same thing. That was weird. Alright, let's just get my skills going here. Obviously I want my weight. Kinda curious what the total capacity is gonna be. I can carry 309 pounds. I like it, I like it a lot. I think my other campaign was like 185 or 180 I think. So that's quite the improvement. Definitely want my health up. I don't care about heal wounds. Stamina, yes. I don't have any stamina perks, so I definitely need max stamina. Stamina regen, obviously. The weapons I'm not worried about. Bow accuracy, yes. Weapon damage for sure, but I want to make sure I get intimidation. Make sure I get my territory revealed. Boom. That makes life a lot easier. What's the one that gives me more warriors? <coughs> There you go. I'm gonna need some warrior backup for sure. And we'll get some weight for them. I'm not actually gonna be gathering for quite a while. So I don't need to worry about that. I have the tech enemy. It's gonna be useful. These are going to be, these last skills are going to get expensive here. My damage. Although I don't really need damage because I'm using stun arrows when I do actually fight. But it does not hurt. Do do do, don't need those. Endurance. I think that's really... That's all the important ones for me. Eh, strike. That would make sense. Definitely sneak. Just in case I gotta fight a bear or something. <laughs> Uh, what else do I want? I don't use any of that. Grab I would use. Possibly. Uh, I definitely don't plan on killing dudes. I never... I think I've used this skill once but I've got plenty of points to spend. 
question is, should I... Well... I don't know. Gotta spin them. I wanna see how far these will go. Make sure I get the right stuff. I could possibly use that. I've used the binoculars like twice or the spy glasses. <laughs> uh, that would be okay to have. That was only one upgrade. That was weird. Uh, definitely not going to be gathering. Sixty six hundred forty thousand left. Hmm. I could just save them until I need them, I suppose. You never really know. I may end up wanting to gather something for some reason. Or do I want to go ahead and do the weapon? Six hundred thousand. Well, it kind of looks like I've got more than enough. Boom. Boom. It's really not putting much of a dent in it, is it? <laughs> Fishing. I like fish. Gotta make sure you get that fishing skill up. Yes, sir. 420,000. And we'll just throw one on each one of these just for shits and giggles. You can see how expensive those are now, though. Hmm. I just don't know if I want to spend all the skill points for nothing. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. So, what? 1.2 million spent? That's not bad. So it looks like I need about a million, a little over a million to upgrade the skills that I use. And a few extras. So, okay. That's good to know. Wow, that, uh, that made quite the difference. You can really kind of see what's going on now. And I do have an objective up here to uh, increase the power. That dude's way up there. All right, so I need warriors. I'm not sure if these guys are going to be willing to join me or not. All right, as you can see, also, I now am the proud owner of... Where are they? Oh, wait, no. That's... Uh, 30,000 big spike traps. Yes, sir. And I could keep going if I had wanted. Really no need though. Obviously. <laughs> uh, check out the trade. Ooh. Those are a little pricey. Nothing too special. It's not the worst price. That's actually a good price for those. That's a real good price. I like that. Turns out I've got more than enough ammo though. How much do I have here? 5,000. I can afford to pick those up real fast. 38. Yeah, 5 for 10. Shit. I'll take that all day long. And I've seen the rest. Okay. Alright, first thing I think I want to do is try to gather... Oh yeah, I want to bond with a horse. 
That would be my first thing. Alright, let's go with a white horse. Go with that. I like that with some paint. Probably all red. Ah, that's all backwards. Nope. There we go. That gives me a uh, max or uh, improved on all three categories. I'll take it. That is just a handsome horse, if you ask me. I like it. Something a little different. I've always gone with the black horse. Do a little... Uh, do I have... I suppose I should probably check my... Yeah, okay, I did. I armed myself. You know what I do need to do, though? Change my war paints. No, you don't need to hide. Dork. Uh, I hadn't actually thought about which war pen I want to use. 25%. Lots of camo. I don't really need... I do kind of like the idea of the war paint. Or the, uh... Camo. I don't plan on doing much fighting myself. I could use a nice little health 75 there. Mm. Health would definitely be useful. <laughs> I don't need any more weight. Yeah, that's somehow sticking with that. Heal wounds. Health per second. That's not going to do much good as you're being shot. 75 health. <laughs> so do I want 75 health or do I want 25% more of map range? With the camo. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this because if they can't see me, they're not going to shoot me. Kind of makes sense, right? Alright, I need to get rid of a little bit of this bling. I'm not big. Of course, the stupid horse is in the way. I'm definitely not into the arm bracelets. for carrying pistols either. <laughs> Don't need a powder horn. Don't really need a rifle. Alright, that works. Let's get the show on the road. I suppose I could... Light these on fire real fast. <laughs> Boom. See if we can get this village to join us and give me some uh, warriors that I could use.
I've also never started, obviously, if I've never done the insane mode, I've never started off in the desert. Luckily, I don't really need to gather. Oh, cool, I got five dudes joining me. That was exactly what I needed. But since I don't plan on needing to gather, it's not really a big deal that I'm sitting out here in the boonies. Where's the main dude? What am I missing? Where's your chief, dude? Somebody talk to me. Talk to me. There he is. Yo, bro. Join me. Thank you. Alright. And first thing I'm gonna do... Disband your butts. Go to my core village, dude. I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. As you can see, I've maxed out my core village already. Although I think one of these dudes is going to ask me to have three villages, aren't they? I probably should have left that other village. I just remembered that. That's a thing. Right into a rock. I like it on auto travel. I don't think I could do that over here. They would probably run into this. Well, no, they should come up that path. I could probably come up here, I suppose. But I think I will leave one dude in this village for now. I hope they took their horses, did they? Shoot. I didn't think about that either. Yo, bro, what's happening? You gonna get down? I knew it. I jinxed myself. Okay. Well, you have two horses in there. Interesting. Okay. I need to come over here. More than one way to skin a cat. Uh-oh. Row. It's alright, I could use a little practice. Come on, Doge. Sure, it's taking them a while to get up here. Yeah. That was anticlimactic. this thing. These things are hard to spot sometimes. Alright, what do we got going on? <laughs> There's a patrol in there. There's something's in there. That might be a prison wagon, huh? Alright. Let's see if we can't get some boys to join us. <laughs> Uh, if I were to do equip, you did. Okay, cool. I didn't really save me too much time, though. 340. Yes. And I want to go with, uh, 8, I guess it was. I'm not going to have horses, obviously. Get us another one. That did not exactly save us any time. Actually, I 
Oh, I didn't bring those in yet, though, did I? Alright, change of plans. Where is it? Where am I at? Yeah, that's safe enough, I suppose. Hopefully. Alright, I just messed up. I don't want to lose the uh, opportunity for more guys. So I want to use stun arrows. I just remember this. Especially since these camps, these initial camps, should be semi-easy. Paint the war. Huh. Uh, it would be a good opportunity to use the stun arrows. So I need to go with three. I need to go with disband your butts. Then I need to open the mouth. Which one was it? Is this one? Yes. They have my arrows. I think I brought some more as well. Did I put it all in one package? I did, huh? Looks like they're expanding again, so they're definitely good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and bring these in then. I want those stone arrows. Alright, let's try that again. Well, they should join up there in a minute. Okay, we'll go. Some reason it's not stun arrows, it's toxin arrows that the war bow uses. <laughs> you suck. Hmm. What do I want to do? That is a dilemma. So, what is that? Ash bow, I believe I need? wonder of course 500 a pop what about anybody else have ash bows up there probably not it's not ash bow it's uh oh it's just hunter bows And Hunter Bow gives decent range. What about, uh, Ancestor Bow obviously has a lot better range. Okay. Well, I can do that. So, sorry about this. Thought I had myself all set up. But I was incorrect. I'm going to jump over to my feeder campaign real fast and get the right bows. This won't take too long. So this should be a fun little series, I would imagine, quite action-packed. Since I'm not actually focusing on trying to make a feeder campaign, 
Although I would imagine pretty much any campaign that you complete could be a feeder campaign. Uh, that's not my focus. My focus is pretty much just to beat this campaign. And see what happens. And have a lot of fun. So it should be a little more action packed than uh, micromanagement. I've got my system down pretty good. So as, as I expand my villages, I'm going to go ahead and arm them. And that will just spread out the pain. <laughs> it won't be so bad. I'm not going to have to go through like 60 villages and put a whole bunch of different types of weapons. I've already decided how many weapons each village is going to get. And I've got it all set up. All i got to do is put it in here. And I'll wait until I start actually, until I have enough warriors to defend it. Just in case anything were to pop up. I want to make sure I have like 30 warriors in my uh, core village before I bring in the items. And it looks like some settlers are going to try to get to the main town in this campaign, which is on this side. They're going to come from up here, so good luck with that. Alright, I am here for these bad boys. Oh! That was stupid. Where is it? Come on, where are you? I just dropped my ancestor bow. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. There it is. Alright. Let's try that again. I want to bring in like 60. It's just for shits and giggles. I'll put those in the middle. Pretty sure I don't need anything else. Pop on out of there. And as you can see, I've been collecting my ancestor bows. One of the things I want to test out is I believe, in theory, since ancestor bows don't break, if I were to put 30 ancestor bows in a village, or even just 15, then when I send my boys out to gather pelts, they shouldn't need to craft bows. They should only have to use the ancestor bow, right? So that's something one of my uh, on my list of things to test. I want to see if I arm my villagers with ancestor bows, if they won't need to craft their own bows. Just free up more guys to craft other things, like tonics and potions and all that kind of good stuff. Open more options for me. That's something I've been having my villagers do lately is craft me some uh, tonics and potions and good stuff like that. Which has worked out really well. Although it takes four warriors pretty much to craft one tonic. They do it pretty quick. And I have like 26,000 um, purple con flower or something, decoction or whatever, tonic or something like that, I forget what it's called, but I've got a ton of them, <laughs> more than I'm ever going to need, actually I think I'm bringing 20,000 of those into this campaign. We'll get back into it here. See if I can't get myself some warriors to go along with the party here. Alright. Some more people are joining one of the towns. 
Ah, uh, boom. All right, now we should be set. Sorry about that. And boom. Go with four of you bad boys. Yeah, so I have 25,000 here already. I like it. Uh, yes. Right? That's everything I need. And it looks like my average dropped to 3 because I brought those new guys in. That's mm -hmm. kind of a bummer. So I can only do one more. Which should be enough to get me started here. Uh, you know, it would be kind of fun. Let's bring in one ash bow with, uh, like, well, I guess a hundred toxin arrows would make sense. No, it's not ash, it's a war bow. So they will have only toxin arrows, and the rest will have way more than they need mm -hmm. stun arrows. And I'm at 164. Really? I like 16. That works. I don't see these guys. Where are they? Oh, they're coming from the village. That's pretty cool. Huh, that's different. So if you create them while you're close to the village, then that's pretty cool. I like it. Alright. <clears throat> it looks like we're running. Although, I don't really need to run, do I? some unfiltered decision making for you. No editing. <laughs> we all just kind of figure it out as we go, you know? And I've kind of learned not to make uh, long-term plans so much because we always get distracted, so I just try to keep, I'm going to try to keep focus on what's in front of me, not uh, what I expect to happen. A lot of short-term plans, little steps to the bigger picture, you know, to the bigger target. Alright, I'll just wait for my boys to catch up. That is awfully close, isn't it? Well, my boy should show up in about an hour here. We're during the day, so even if it has a gate, it should be open.
Oh yeah. We got a guard. <clears throat> see, I think I see one of my boys. Now, when they're using stun arrows, I shouldn't need to help them. But if I do, I will. And when I switch over to killing, which I will at some point here, then I might help them out at least with one or two because I would like to get the skill points. And if you stun one or two of the guys in each of the camps, then you still stand a chance of getting new warriors after each takedown. I don't know if I want to burn everything yet. Um, I mean, probably. I don't see why not, really. Once I have my boys looted, I guess I could burn everything down. It'd be nice to have some clear land. Alright, we are good to go. I want to switch you guys over to mirror me. Alright, and I want to go with, got to remember I only have two groups, like that, no, actually, let's go like that. Then we'll bring you down there. Put you on open fire. Open fire. I want you to go that way. Really? Open fire, guys. Oh, I hate when the warriors don't cooperate. Dude, what are you guys doing? Finally. Go with the most obvious guy. Have him switch over to this dude. No, not that dude. Not that dude. Come on. There you go. Get that dude. You can switch over to this dude. Now I are still shooting that dude. Oh, dimes. I haven't seen, I heard of the dimes, I don't know what they do really. I know it has something to do with the traders. 
That's gonna be something I need to check out. For some reason my warriors are not doing their job so much. Not being proactive on the defense. Should be somewhere here. One more. That worked out nicely. Make sure there's nobody in here. I didn't, I didn't see it say. We'll see if I can grab everything. Oh wait, that's right, I have weight. I can, oh there it is, first blueprint. Nice, that's a good start. I forgot I have extra weight. I can grab everything. <laughs> but I found the blueprint, so I don't really need to do all this. I didn't say I didn't see it say this place disappeared. So did I forget somebody? that? Why is that moving like that? Weird. Huh. Not sure why this place isn't disappearing. And I want to go with concentration. Somebody was saying earlier too in the chat that hay bait don't heal the horses by themselves anymore. So I need to check and see if that's a thing. I actually don't think it is. I think maybe they were trolling or just having an issue on their own game. I don't know. But have to look into it. So this worked out. <coughs> I'm gonna have a full war party in no time. There is somebody. Oh shoot, they were sitting on That's funny. I don't know why I didn't notice him. There it goes. One thing I do like about the extra weight is as I'm, uh, it's mainly for the bodies. When I loot bodies and to intimidate them, I'll be able to loot more without having to get slowed down. More bodies, that is. So if I come across a large group, I'll be able to loot them all and not slow down. So that's good stuff. Well, it looks like these dimes are easy to come by. I'm just going to finish looting this place just because I started. <laughs> That's a pretty ominous sounding drum beat there. I always check behind buildings for loot. Three more. Damn, that was a lot of warriors. Alright, boys. <coughs> and what do we got? 
12 in there. Let's see if these dudes will join me. Call the horrors. Concentration. How is my stamina anyway? Stamina is at 150. Yeah. That is not much. I was really torn between doing weight or maxed health. I could have had 900 extra health, 950 extra health. But I kept thinking, you know, I don't plan on doing much fighting myself. So I don't really need the extra health, hopefully. Knock on wood, you know. See if we can get these guys to join. So as you can hear, I got the music playing for those moments where I'm not going on constantly about this or that. <laughs> yes, nice. All right, so that's two villages. I need another village. I actually want to take these guys and send you. I'll equip you. Send you over to my core. I should be able to send one more. I must be doing something. <coughs> Alright, so that's giving me some more dudes. Let's go ahead and drop all this stuff off. I should have more than this for stun arrows on me. Alright, we're gonna go with another party. No, no, no. Dang it. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. I like it. And last but not least, uh, so one, two, and four. Yeah, I think I'll just go with stone arrows on this one. There you go, I got a full set of warriors. Won't let me do any more, right? Yes. like it. Why do they have horses? I didn't give you horses. Did I? Hmm. Alright, so there was a jail. Oh, there's a town already. He's awfully damn close, huh? There's already a farm. I definitely don't want to hit the farm yet. But I do want to go back down here and get this gel. I 
got to be a little strategic about all this. I thought there was a gel right here. Looks like I was wrong. Alrighty. Oh, what's this? Prisoner wagon. I'll take that. Where are you? You are that way. Make sure everybody's on open. Exactly sure where these guys are. So we'll let my boys find out for me. Oh, there is a gel there. That is a gel, okay. Go with mirror me. Go something like that. I'm not sure about spreading my dudes out too much here using um stun arrows. I'm not sure how much how good of an idea that would be. Get a decent vantage point here. I definitely want to make my way over across to that uh, wagon. Like, dude, decided to go for a stroll. Alright, we're gonna reposition. I'll bring you up over this way. Bring you up over that way. Shit, did I just leave the cave? Yeah, you definitely need to be cured. Okay, you're good. Let's see how my boys do. What are you guys doing? Why are you going over that way? more like what I want to do. Kind of looks like I got somebody behind me.
punk. Dude just does not know when to go down. Have you seen him? Oh, somebody's getting freaking nailed. Early, you come right to me. Schmuck. I'm digging the guns already, though. Shoot. I don't know. I'll take these all day long. All right, now I gotta find the rest of these bodies. Poor dude, start waking up. No, damn it! One of these dudes need to be having a key on him. Or maybe two of them. <laughs> I would say this is off to a good start. There's a key. Right, let's see if we got any more dudes. I would imagine we do. Yeah, I thought there was one in that bush. Quite a few more dudes. All right. I love how fast the intimidation goes. Boom! That's like instant. Whoa, punk! Sit down. Sit down, son. Damn, I got a lot of dudes left. Sounds like somebody is good in now. Okay. I think my dudes just wanted to shoot the fireplace. I'm actually overloaded. Suck. And my dude died. That sucks. Where's the loot? And I'm overpopulated. Hey. Uh, tab. I don't have meat. Let's give you four. Take you to my core. Should be able to make it without weapons. <clears throat> okay. Back to what I was doing here. Drop all that. Drop those. this back in here. Right, do a quick sweep for blueprint. It's like I forgot somebody. Let's not just waste a thousand arrows on the guy. I wonder what if they could pick some of their arrows back up. That would be funny. That'd be funny if they picked up the arrows off of the dude. Just come over to the dude, start pulling them out. <laughs> oh. 
Come here, boss. I don't see any loot over there. Looks like I still got one dude laying down. No, he dead. I don't think I want to find a uh, blueprint that quickly. Those boys are gone. And those boys are free. Alrighty. Let's see if I can't get my boys. What are you shooting at? No, stop it. Stop it. Fire back. All of a sudden they're all on fire back, huh? Come on guys, don't waste ammo. See if we can get them to mount up. Too far away. Where's my horse? 177. Of course you are. Like most of my boys found horses. Not quite all though. Alright, and we're at 27. They're back to being maxed. I don't know that that's where I want the village though. I got a few things I got to think about here. I don't know that I want to put villages on the main road yet. Definitely don't feel like I'm ready for that. So, yeah, I think I want to keep them hidden for the most part. seem like yeah seems like that's a good idea and with these villages that I'm making right now all the other neutral villages should join me when I ask them to I believe This one on the outskirts I really don't want. Um, do I? Hmm. Seems a little dangerous right there. I should go up here. I'll drop off the guns. It's already looking pretty juicy to me. 
I should probably drop off the coins too. It's <clears throat> a lot of coin. Be interesting to see what that actually gets me. Alright, let's upgrade some villages. So I need parts. Should probably put meat in these two. I don't need wolf claws. I don't think I need wolf pelts either. See if that was everything I needed. Did I grab tusks? I don't remember seeing tusks. I do need wolf pelts, alright. didn't. Tusks and stage. Stag, my bad. That should do us good. So that's everybody. Okay, cool. Why do I only have eight in here? I think now we're set. There you go. Try to leave a hundred meat and a couple hundred wood in each one. Eh. That's fine. Three. There we go. As you can see, once you have the collection set in the right order, upgrading villages goes pretty quick. All right, so we're solid on the four. Six percent. That says four, but it's at level thirty. All righty. And do I have? He's still neutral, huh?
see if we can go take his horses. <laughs> Gonna steal me some horses from my red skinned brethren. What you gonna do? Nice. Wait for the dudes on foot. Mm. Here they come. Let's get you dudes on some horses. There's only a couple of horses here though. And you have no horses. You don't have any horses. You have two horses. Eh, I'll give horses somewhere else. Alright, let's go to the next outpost I like this little grouping of villages I'm not digging this guy on the outskirts but I kinda suspect um, I'm going to need a village up that way anyway, so that's why I'm not disbanding it. Alright, where's this thing? But what I will do is Send as many of the dudes to my core village as I can. That way, if these villages do get hit, they're only going to lose one dude. I don't have any loot in there yet, so that's not going to be a problem. <coughs> Where is my horse? Guys are pushing my horse around. Not cool, man. Not cool, man. So. Boom. Boom. This camp should be right over this ridge. Which will be kind of a cool observation point. Get all my boys up here. <laughs> Just waiting on my dudes on foot. Dudes here yet? 
Looks like everybody's here. Line my boys up. I know there's four dudes in this camp. I can only see two though. So we'll send you there. And we'll just send you up this way. Get everybody on crouch mode. There's that other dude. Of course, now I can't see him. Ah! Damn bushes. Alright, my boys are just gonna have to figure it out. So you're the closest, you're the second closest, we'll go with three, there's probably one dude wandering around. That dude is just not very aware at all. Of course you gotta get hit. Do you see him? He's hiding somewhere. And where's the other dude? I could have sworn there was four dudes. Put everybody on fire back. Stop wasting the ammo. Is it just three dudes? I mean, I know it said the camp vanished, so it should just be the three guys, but... Huh. I guess I'm tripping. <coughs> well... Should we burn the place? Um, burn, baby. Let's just make sure we got everything. Pretty much just the two spots. Well, I didn't want to burn it with me in it. <laughs> Okay. Ouch. Yeah. Each of my boys has an arrow in them for some reason. That's interesting. Interesting. It's 
it's kind of sad that I already lost it, dude. Alright, we're gonna go over this way. Looks like somebody's overpopulated. So we'll move you guys into two. I had to move ten of you over to two. Or three. Two. I gotta find some horses for my dudes. I still have a couple guys that don't have any horses. I could come up this way and get this jail real fast. Which direction am I gonna go? Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I wanna push out this way so that these guys have time to grow. So, doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and take out this jail first. <clears throat> then I'll turn around and push out the other direction. And I'm only going to use war parties on this campaign. Uh, well, I say only war parties, but I'm going to help out where needed. The war parties don't seem, seem to not always work as they should. I'm not just going to sit there and watch them get killed. But they're definitely going to do a majority of the fighting for me. And so far it's looking pretty juicy for loot. I'm digging that. I've never actually done an insane campaign, even though I've been playing coming up on a year now. So this is all new for me. Outpost. Drop some ammo. These guys are expanding pretty quick. Drop all that goodness. And drop off the dimes. Then we are going to head on into the jail. What is this guy doing? Prisoner wagon. Well, no, I don't want to attack because... Interesting. So it's always... they always throw you curveballs. Hmm... He's going to come down this way anyways, isn't he? He could run into this village, though. That could be a problem. And my boys aren't going to keep up with me. Oh, interesting. Of course, the village only has one warrior in it, so even if I were to lose it, it wouldn't be a big loss. They don't have any loot. But, that prison, that jail's not going to go anywhere. And if I can get a few extra warriors in a wagon, I'm going to jump on it. Okay, my boys are coming. We're going to go ahead and send them in on horseback. Can I... I can't pinpoint anybody. 
Wait, there's one. You guys are on open fire. I'm just going to send everybody to there. I'll send you to that side. And we'll send you over to this side. Go get them, boys. Now, I do want to try to get somebody on the driver. There you go. That's one way to do it. You can hit him. You can hit him. You guys can come and work this dude. You can go right up in the center. That worked out pretty nice. I like it. Show yourself. And I'm not losing any SP. That's all goodness. Gaining a boatload of warriors. Now, if I were killing these guys, or having my boys kill these guys, which it looks like they killed this dude, even though he's still trembling. Excellent. If my boys were killing these dudes, who are you guys shooting at? It's like you're shooting at each other. That was weird. Um, yeah, like I was saying, if I let my boys kill everybody, then I wouldn't gain so many warriors after each camp I take out. You have 12 dudes in you, huh? It's actually not bad. Alright, maybe I should, uh, I should come over here and arm these camps. Am I on the wrong frickin' horse? I am. That is not my horse. I'm not used to having a white horse. <laughs> Where are you, dude? Another prison wagon coming. Ah, that looked like an outpost. That was weird. I'm tripping. <laughs> drop these off. Ooh, a couple palmers. I like that. And I want to go ahead and grab some bows with like 600 of you bad boys. Let's drop Thirty in there. And we'll drop what we have, seventeen. Uh, yeah, I need to bring in my other war bows. Pretty good for now though. They have 12, they have 2. Go ahead and send you bad boys over to 2. I 
Alright, what's next on the agenda? Go back over here. I actually want these guys to all expand as much as they can, so I get as much loot as I can when I take out the towns and the forts, so I don't mind fast traveling. I'm not afraid of them overwhelming me. Especially since I'm not killing anybody, I'm not going to increase their awareness. They're not going to go aggro on me. So it shouldn't be until the point where I reach a certain percent of my land back that they get triggered to throw raids at me. I'm just kind of hoping they don't quite get what's going on until it's too late. Like, I haven't heard from Billy for a while. It's not like him. Oh, shoot. Let's, uh... Let's not be completely obvious here. They don't ever seem to spot my warriors. Is everybody close by? Everybody except for the dudes on foot. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the dudes on foot. Dismount, dismount. I got nothing else to do while I wait for these guys to show up, so. Come on, boys. They're coming. Alright. Let's go ahead and stage my boys. Something kind of like that. Find me a nice little bush. I want everybody crouched. I don't see anybody over here. Let the fun begin. I'm actually going to have them come over this way. Two. A three. And four. I should work out pretty good. I really like these war parties. These guys just rock. There's a lot of dudes in this camp. This guy's venturing out to us. So I'm going to redirect a little bit. Actually, yeah, I like that. Alright. You can actually switch to him. No, you can switch to him. I'm going to micromanage the hell out of these guys. These guys should still be locked in. Damn, dude. 
little ninja moves there. I'll send some of my boys over to get him. Send two groups just to be fair. And meanwhile, start collecting some bodies here. Come here, Boston! <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to intimidate a guy here. Get the hell out of the way. Where's he? I killed one of my dudes. It's weak. No, you still got your gun. Sounds like they filled that guy up with like a hundred arrows. I guess I killed him. Get these guys before they start waking up. And this is where the weight, extra weight, is going to come in real handy. They can pick up all these bodies and loot them without getting slowed down. Alright, done. I'm going fire back. You're wasting a bunch of ammo. Really nice guns. I'm digging the guns. For sure. Alright, this dude was over here somewhere. Boom. Where are you, bosses? Alright, was that everybody? Doesn't look like it. I must have forgot somebody. Might be that dude laying over there. Yep. And somebody else over here. What the hell are you shooting at? You shooting at my boys, bitch? I hope I didn't just lose another dude. Look, enemy right there. I don't think so. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> Alright. I could have sworn he had a red dot on his head. Huh. Show yourself! Alright, that's it. That's the last one. Alright. One of my dudes. Did I lose another one? Damn it. Ooh. Where'd you come from? Oh, there's another dude. I just saw him right before he woke up, too. Come closer. See what I mean by my warriors aren't quite... Well, I guess if they're on fire back... That's irritating. See, there is a red dot on that dude's head. But he shows up as being dead. Hmm. Where's he? This means, must be the uh, wagon, huh? Fort, huh? Drop all that off. Found at 50, that's nice. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, see, he is showing it. Yeah, that's a glitch. Let's see if I can open one of these wagons. 
Anybody in here? Be free. Alright, dealing with the classic overpopulation issue. Send ten more dudes over to two. That puts them at twenty-seven. That's pretty safe. Dude needs to get out of here. And there should be some more dudes in here. Or, okay, I guess that one. Let's look for a blueprint real fast. No. No blueprint. Go free some more boys. Heck, it looks like I could arm these villages with just the weapons I get from this campaign. They're some nice weapons. None of them are high quality, but still, they're nice. Speaking of, looks like I could go ahead and start bringing in the good weapons. Doesn't look like I'm going to find a blueprint. Got some more dudes. So that's the, those are the guys I just released. Alright, that's pretty much it for here. Let's go with, uh, Near me, where's my horse? I will go with follow me. As you can see, I've lost two, three dudes already. But I am using stun arrows, so it's kind of to be expected. And they are not very good, very highly skilled warriors yet. They're like level twos. Wonder what the bonding is with my horse so far. I haven't really ridden him much. A little bit. Yeah. Looks like I need to start sending dudes over to three. Let's send ten dudes over to three. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and leave these guys alone. I'm going to start working my way over this direction. Now, I want to leave my dudes here. While I go over I'm just going to go light up this uh, outpost real fast. So I left my warriors behind. They'll stay where, where I put them. They don't need to tag along. They all get horses. Nice. Actually, I should have them loot. See if they can't pick up some curatives. Looks like I'm running low on toxin arrows. I don't know if they come and rejoin me after, automatically rejoin me after they uh, loot though. I guess I'm gonna find out in a second. never know when you're going to need to come to one of these spots, so I like to get all the, uh, 
fast travel points I can. I'm curious, I haven't looked at one of these little loot spots yet. See what kind of goodies they got. That's trash, that's trash, that I can use. And they do, they rejoin you after they loot. Okay. Now I know. Put this on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Put that on. Auto travel. What kind of curatives do you got? You don't have anything. You mooted a couple. I know I'm running against the cliff here. They didn't really pick anything up. Hmm. Just grabbing another fast travel point. Now I can drop off some loot as well. Don't need all that on me. Might as well drop that in there. Don't need any of that. Collecting a lot of these dimes. Working our way up over this direction. This next outpost might get me my first bonding upgrade. Why are you going the wrong way? Because I am in a bowl, it looks like. Alright, you know what to do. I guess this cliff face doesn't open up over here, so he's got to go the long way around. Not a bad little start. I got this one guy hanging out in a precarious little spot, but they've got 30 war bows, plenty of arrows, and some meat. So if they do run into anybody, like a wagon or something, they should be able to hold them. Although, they are only level 1. My core village is down to 1. Yeah, each time these guys join. Because this core village was up to like 6. Did they eat the uh, groceries yet? I have 14, 15 groceries in here. Yeah, it looks like they did. They did. Alright. Where are we at? Almost there. So it looks like what I need to do is throw some groceries in these villages. That way they'll start leveling up. I can get, get some decently skilled warriors in my war party. I won't lose so many. Interesting. So when you burn a place down, it just stays smoldering. I don't dig that. I thought I would have just gone back to natural land. I don't know that I want a bunch of smoldering wreckages around. Hmm. My boys are way behind me. I can see them just now coming over the ridge back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It would be nice to be able to increase their horse, their horse's speed somehow. Let's see if I got my first bond. I do not. I don't think I brought any hay bait, did I?
That would have been a smart move. Alright, I'm gonna wait for my boys to catch up. So we're looking at the two hour mark here. It's getting kind of late. I do actually want to continue. I would like to push a little more, but I'm going to need to call this a string for now. So we've done pretty well. Uh, looks like I need to upgrade a village real fast. I could do that. I've got all the parts. I leave all my parts that I need to upgrade a village in the very last village that I've upgraded. It makes it easy to find them. I've only got the parts that I need. Uh, 20... That should be good. And that way I can upgrade villages on the quick. I also want to start arming now that I've got like five villages. I need to start arming them. But I think I'll do that on the next episode. I don't need 400 of them bad boys, I need, uh, let's drop 200. And the rest looks pretty solid. And that bad boy upgraded real fast. And we'll go ahead and change the name. Get you on 5. I don't think I did four. <laughs> this pays off in the long run, big time. If you put the numbers to your villages, <laughs> then when something happens to a village, instead of looking for that village, you already know which one it is because of the number. So it'll say four is under attack, or group is attacking three. Makes life a lot easier. And if you do things as you go, it's a lot easier than waiting for yourself to have 30 villagers. Like, I want to start, now that they have warriors in them, then I want to arm them. And they're all going to be armed with... I'll show you the mail. I'll go ahead and do this on the next episode, though. But in my mail, I have a whole bunch of good toys. All high quality. Every village is going to be armed with only high quality weapons, except for the core, which will obviously be collecting all the weapons from the campaign. But as you can see, I've got plenty of toys to bring into action here. I already know how I'm going to arm each village with how many of what. See, I've got a lot. I've got a bunch of war bows to bring in. All the ammo that I need. Turns out I have exactly enough ammo to do what I want. And grocery. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and accept one of the groceries. I'll spread those out a little bit between the villages. So I would take, like, uh, <coughs> probably 30 or so in each one. Drop 30 in here. Come on, close. This should start leveling my boys up. Now I suppose if I want to... Eh, it doesn't really matter, but if I wanted to be real technical, I would go and release the warriors that I already have on me. And then just kind of do something for a little while, maybe find a trader and trade with them, and give them time to upgrade. But, I don't really feel like spending that kind of time. Everybody is level 1. So yeah, the skill level 1's are getting killed pretty easily. 
But it looks like on the next episode, I'm going to come here and I'm going to start working out the bottom. <laughs> I think the basic game plan will be to secure this area. I already know I have a town right up here. I don't want to take any of the towns out yet. I want them to collect as much loot as I can. So I'm going to probably work my way up to this back part. And throughout the series, I would imagine I would clear out this back part and start pushing them this way. I want them to end up over here again. I like having them up in this corner. So I'll probably just sweep back and forth and push them up into this corner throughout the campaign. That, at least that's the initial plan. As we all know that play this game for more than a minute, plans tend to change. <laughs> but I'm pretty excited about this one. This should be a lot of fun. There's some. Oh no, he's buying hay baits. I would actually buy a couple hay baits right now if it were available. I'm just checking out the market real fast. But yeah, I think that started off really nice. Uh, loot wise. <laughs> So I've played for a few minutes, I've taken out a couple of camps. I haven't looted, i got to remember to loot these places too. I didn't loot like two of the gels, so I'm going to need to go back and send my boys out and make sure I loot everything. But not a bad little haul already. I've got a 50, i got a couple of 1882s. I've never seen... Um, 1882s and 50s so early in the campaign and a sharps a thunder already so that's looking really promising some wooden bows Actually, I'm going to take those I'm just going to drop them we do not need wooden to bows no where are you I didn't realize wooden bows shoot uh, stun arrows, but they've got like no range at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff to me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let's see what my warriors look like. I may end up. Oh, look at that. He's like gonna die. Yeah. I kind of do need to recharge my warriors, huh? Uh, Alright, we can do that real fast. I'm going to disband these warriors real fast. And then I'll rearm them. Maybe with something else when I come back. Uh, after I get situated a little better, I'm going to start arming my boys with high quality weapons as well. So the war parties will go in pretty hard <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? On three. I want to go ahead and disband. I wonder, when he goes to a village, I wonder if he's going to regenerate. I hope so. I'll go ahead and bring them all back. I would imagine they'll go to that <laughs> village closest to me. Which should be fine. So they should end up in four. This guy just makes me nervous. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see, if I fast travel, will they automatically end up in that village, I wonder? I really need to stop the stream. <laughs> I'm so tired. I want to play though. And they do. Alright, that's cool. So now you've got all the horses I need. I like it. Alright, let's see how much land. Or see what the map looks like here. Exit out. Yeah, this should be a really fun campaign.
I'm looking forward to it. Unfortunately, I've got a few days until I have a day off. I could see playing a whole day. Just ripping through this whole campaign in like two days would be awesome. Alright, so we're five camps, 81 warriors. That was quite the jump from three when I started. Which, by the way, I started with three warriors. <laughs> Uh, seven days in. It took me seven days to get... Wow. Because we were at 81 days when I started. With one count. Now I have five with 81 warriors. That's insane. Ha! <laughs> yes. There are reasons they call this an insane campaign. So with that, I hope you guys enjoy. And I will catch you on the rebound. Peace out.